batters will be hit by pitchers this season? I don't think so, Dan. It's obvious Cabrera was moving in slow motion on that play. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Aaron Andrews. We're now joined on SportsCenter by Andy Katz for a little bit of bracketology. <laughs> All right, Andy, why don't you tell us about this critical Mideast regional? I would love to, Dan. All right, everyone, let's start with the beginning. Mubarak has been overtossed in Egypt, so they are officially out of the match, and officially Tunisia has advanced to the next round with their trouncing of President Ben Ali. Okay, Ben Ali, I understand, is currently in Saudi Arabia. Will he help the Saudi strategy with the Bahrainians there? You know, I don't think so, Dan. Ben Ali is almost dead and is practically a non-factor in the region. I think the big match is going to come in play is the U.S.-Iraq game in play. Mm. The winner of which will face the Iranian Shiites. And I wonder if they get made fun of for their nickname. I'm sure <laughs> they do, but trash talking is frowned upon. <laughs> now, uh, the USA is expected to win this whole thing. Yes, but they're, pre they're spread pretty thin now that they're facing eighth seed Libya. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, yeah, that, that could be a sticky situation. Is it possible that the U.S. will end up battling themselves? You know, congressmen are already asking for Obama's timetable on Libya. I bet they are. And it's especially bad now that the USA-Afghanistan match has gone into its tenth year of overtime. Well, <laughs> to, uh, explain his strategy for how to beat Libya, the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Mr. President. Thank you for being here, Mr. President. Well, it's a uh, relief uh, from thinking about basketball. Uh, sure. Uh, could you uh, tell us exactly how the USA plans to defeat Libya? Absolutely. Uh, here are the strongholds of Gaddafi in Tripoli, and here are the rebel strongholds in Benghazi. Uh, we plan to take out the anti-aircraft uh, terminals in, around Tripoli. If they try to alley-oop or pick and roll, into Benghazi, we will simply block any shots that are coming in this direction. It's also known as a triangle defense. Exactly. <laughs> Mr. President, you must be pretty proud to, at last, have a war of your own. Well, it does feel pretty special. <laughs> uh, how do you think all this is going to turn out? Well, obviously we're going to win, uh, but in the interest of sportsmanship, we'll turn over our bracket to France, or England, uh, first come, first serve. Okay, and finally, Andy Katz, uh, gotta ask, who do you think's gonna come out on top of the rivalry between Israel and Palestine? You know, this is gonna come surprise a lot of people at home, but I'm going Palestine. Well, considering your name is Katz, that is a bit of a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Israel, uh, but they will lose in the semis to Kansas. All right, well, <laughs> <don't be bad. laughs> This week marks the first anniversary of the health care reform bill. Reforms will actually be implemented in two years, one year after they've been repealed. <laughs> <laughs> President Obama was criticized for titling the Libyan military operation Odyssey Dawn, which is coincidentally the same name as a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> On Sunday, the Texas State Senate passed a bill allowing college students to carry concealed weapons on campus. As a result, the president has imposed a no-fly zone over Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Two commercial flights landed in Washington even though the air traffic controller on duty was sleeping. The pilots are to be commended because normally a plane can't be landed without specific instructions from the tower like, look out for that other plane. <laughs> Slow down. I'm in the tower. <laughs> <laughs> a Star Wars themed school is opened in Chile. <laughs> because if there's anything that South American children need to be taught, it's that evil governments can only be toppled with violence. <laughs> died in Berlin, Germany of brain problems. While officials tried to determine an exact cause of death, Second City this week wondered how the bear's demise would be handled by American investigators. I want you off the case, class. Can you hear me? Captain, it's all fixed, okay? Newt, a polar bear cub rejected by his mother, steals the limelight, right? And then, that's a rough start, but the tragedy I'm warning you, Klasky. Listen, his brother died under mysterious circumstances. Then the zookeeper raising him died days later, okay? There are protests. 
set up that say they should have let nature run its course, let the cub die. But the cub doesn't die, it gets healthier. They cut him off from the other zookeepers, they segregate him from the other bears, they try to isolate him, but he gets healthier. They cut back on his food, they try to starve him out, but he gets healthier. I'm telling you, Klaus, you leave it alone. This is coming from higher up than me, all the way up. I know this comes from all the way up because this stinks to high heaven. A four-year-old polar bear does not collapse and die in front of 600 people for no reason. Just give me five minutes with this guy. Give me your gun and badge, Klasky. You're suspended until you can calm down. I will never calm down so long as the murderer is just sitting in the interrogation room laughing at us. We had to let him go. We don't have probable cause to hold him. Yes, there were bear tracks in that polar bear enclosure with six toes. Only panda bears have six toes. <laughs> oh. It seems like you have a sharp eye, Officer Klosky. <laughs> it appears you've been on Wikipedia since we last met. Ring, <laughs> you bastard! You killed Newt! Oh, oh, oh. oh, but how could I? Panda bears are native to Szechuan province of China. But then your old partner knew that, didn't he? I can still smell the bamboo on his corpse. I should have killed you when I had the chance, Ling Ling. Oh, perhaps, perhaps you've forgotten, but your captain knows. I am endangered species. Oh, 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 oh. No! Stay back! You lay a hand on him and get started international incident. I don't care what kind of protections he has, Captain. I'm going to move him from the endangered list. God damn it! No. Oh. Hey. Martha! You're home from college. How's college? Oh, good. How's mom? She's all right. She's hanging in there. Past couple days haven't been good. She found out about the nuclear reactor leaking in Japan. God, did you tell her she's not sick from radiation poisoning and it's all in her head? Of course I did, but your mother's a goddamn hypochondriac. Mm -hmm. I mean, remember what happened after she saw the movie Philadelphia? She thought she had AIDS for two years. I know, she convinced me that a, a prickle on my hand was a lesion. You should have seen, seen what she did to Dr. Shelley. She made him take three different showers with four different forms of antibacterial before he was even allowed to touch her. God, this is bad, bad. You think it's bad. At least when she thought she had AIDS, we could have sex as long as she used a condom. Yeah. Now she won't even give me a simple oh, stop, stop, Dad, please! <laughs> Sorry. I'm horny, crazy, drives a man insane, goddammit. Martha? Mom? Five feet, five feet. What? what? Your mother prefers if everyone stays five feet away from her. Mom, I am not sick and I'm not carrying any diseases. Martha? I love you, but college campuses are incubators for germs and bacteria and, and other liberal ideologies. <laughs> Mom, the radiation poisoning is it's all in your head. There are trace amounts of radiation from Japan here in California, but it is not harmful to us. Well, then how come the day the radiation leaked, I developed a rash all over my body? <laughs> Maybe because you're hypochondriac? Why don't you watch your mouth, young lady, and not speak to your mother like that? Scientists say that there's radiation everywhere in everything, but it doesn't harm us. Like, there's radiation in the carpet you're standing on. What? Up. There's radiation in the doorknobs <laughs> and in, in, in the blanket on your head. What? Oh, 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 yeah. I'm sick and I'm dying and nobody will believe me. Martha. <laughs> <laughs> five feet, five feet. Yes, we have to stop coddling mom. Coddling? Your mother and I have done no coddling. I'm so goddamn sexually frustrated, I had a wet dream about the sassy, overweight, black male lady, Shoshana. She came to the door and gave me a package of the
trademark an apple, I mean, it's a fruit. Of course we can trademark apple. Though it may sound ridiculous, history proves that we usually win. <laughs> and you just use the word apple again, which means I'm going to have to charge you because the first usage is free and the second is $1.49. <laughs> I forgot to mention the usage fee. Uh, we're not trying to gouge you, we're just preserving the food. But she said apples, not apple. Well, you bring up a good point. Variations of the word covered under the trademark include apple, apples, apple seed, applesauce, <laughs> apple jack, appleton, applebee. And we also have included the word pear. <laughs> because, you know, sometimes a pear looks like an apple, we just didn't want to risk it. <laughs> There's an app that lists all the terms for your convenience. The word app, ironically enough, is also for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which means that you two are both in violation. But, but wait, we both just said that word. We work for Apple, therefore we can use it as much as we please. It's liberating, watch. Apple, 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 apple. <laughs> apple, 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 apple. 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 447. <laughs> yeah, 754. Advanced usage, is, advanced usage is 99 cents. You can download 12 usage for 9.99. You can do it straight from your iPhone. It actually may be something to consider considering your loose lips. Okay, well, what am I supposed to call this thing? Well, you can call it Red Delicious. You can call it a Jonathan. We don't really care what you call it. Just don't call it a Macintosh. And don't use any of the asymmetric. Yes, and before we go, I'm going to have to ask you to take a second bite out of that apple because right now you're in violation of our traffic. <laughs> it's crazy. And you don't want to be in violation of our traffic. Because no, don't. that costs a whole lot more. <laughs> Dancing like this, I am Jesus. 